Welcome back to the Force 9 YouTube channel. Welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and the Rolling Stone save with Maidstone United. And in today's video, we continue our FA Cup campaign. We're in the first round proper, we're facing Swindon Town away from home. It's a big game. Hopefully, we can continue in the uh, FA Cup. But we've reached our goal. Anything beyond this is a bonus. If you're enjoying today's video, make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. So last episode we did scrape a 2-1 win over Darlington FC in the fourth qualifying round. Went behind due to a ridiculous goal, but managed to get a win with a known goal and a Joe Pickup winner in injury time. So that put us through to the first round and we are at the county ground facing Swindon today. A team that I previously managed on this channel only for two seasons with Tim Sherwood as a director of football. It was it was interesting. And today we're facing them, a very different team. I only recognise one player. I don't recognise anyone else in this team that I actually used. We're not actually at the game yet though, we've got a couple of days to go. I've actually just signed the player and for the first time this season I've spent money on a player. We've signed Jack Jeb from Welling, who are in the Conference South. Uh, we spent £10,750 on this guy, he's 22, and he's a playmaker. The one position that we need, we've filled, whether he's going to be good, Remains to be seen, but you know, the 11s are decent. I, mean, I live at 11s all right for this level 11 first touch, 11 passing, flair, vision, physicals are pretty balanced. So, hopefully, this guy will be good at the moment. He's two and a half star, he could rise to up to four, maybe. He's played for Welling, he's not done too well for them. Hopefully, he can do the job for us, but yeah, we have a playmaker at last. That will mean that guys like Jack Paxman and Harry Phipps will be on their way out because these guys just aren't very good. Paxman doesn't really have like a role that he can actually do. He's just, I can't call him a jack of all trades. He's just all right at everything but not good at one particular thing. That's like the nicest way I can put it. As for Harry Phipps, just no. So I did play three games off screen and we did start with a defeat to AFC Files in which uh, Alex Finney... Scored no goal to give them the lead. Um, yeah. There's been a few own goals so far this season. There's one. Uh, Henry Jones doubled the lead just before half time. So, you know, going in half time, 2 0 down. Not great. We did pull a goal back in injury time. Joe Piggott scored in, scoring the goal there. And we did go to pretty much a 4 5 1 with this game. We went with three central midfielders, two wingers, and one striker. We went with pretty much a 4 5 1. Didn't work. I mean, Piggott did get a late goal, but other than that, it was pretty poor. Joe Anderson with a 5.3 at left back. That's a position that we really have got problems with. Joe Anderson's not good. Akiotu's had some good games, but at some games, again, he's been really poor. So left back is a bit of a problem position. We could look at maybe bringing one more of those in um, in the January. Well, there's no January transfer window. We can bring players in any point, as I've just shown you with um, Jack Jeb. But um, yeah, uh, I feel like left back still needs some work. However, we then did go on to beat Halifax away from home. This was a very big result. I was very pleased with this. A 3-2 win away from home. You know, these away wins could be the difference between a top half finish and a playoff finish. So this was a huge result. Didn't get off to a great start though. Joe Piggott missed a penalty on 14 minutes. It was a terrible penalty. Uh, and then uh, after that, Adam Morgan, a former Liverpool striker, did take the lead for Halifax. I didn't even know if I mentioned who it was I was playing, but it was Halifax, and they did take a lead. Less than 10 minutes after that goal, though, we did equalise, and Joe Piggott did convert a penalty at the second time of asking. And then we took the lead just before half-time, Jamal Loza scoring a goal just before half-time, giving us a 2-1 lead. In the second half, Halifax did uh, draw it back to 2-2, Morgan with his second of the game on 63 minutes. But we did get a winner again late on. We're leaving it late a lot at the moment. And it was Delano Samuel off the bench in the 89th minute giving us the winner to make it 3-2. And that's a big away win. That's huge. Uh, the third game we played off screen was a 1-0 win over Chester FC. Jamal Loza with the only goal here. Uh, Akiyoti with the assist. So, you know, a good game there. But again, some games... He's been terrible. Loza, since he came back, has been in really good form. And, you know, the fact that we were losing a lot of games early on suggests that this guy's pretty important to the team. He scored three goals in five appearances, which is great, considering he's been injured for a while. That's a really good outturn. 
So the form's really good. We won five out of six, and that one was an away defeat against Fylde, who were a good team. So we're in really good form at the moment. We've only lost two in 11, is that? Two in 11, which is good. And at the moment, we're actually in the playoff places. We're in sixth place at the moment with 32 points. And we're only two points off the top. But then again, we could lose a league game, and we could go down to 10th or 11th. So... Again, this top half finish is looking really good. It's just seeing how high in this top half we can finish. At the moment, playoffs are looking very good. I'm pretty happy with that. So hopefully we can maintain that. Although our league position has now fallen to 14th place. Don't know why. Has there been lots of transfers recently? There's been a few here and there. But suddenly we've moved down to 14th in the predictions. That's quite a jump down. Ebbsfleet, who were promoted this season, are actually come up to 2nd. They're 11th in the league at the moment, so that's not very good for them. But yeah, that's just quite interesting that we've now dropped in our predictions to 14th and we're in the playoff places. I don't know if the uh, the bookies are watching the league. Um, so part of the reason that I could actually do this and show you, you know, a couple of days before, is show you the, the, the lead up to a match. So here you've got the pre-match tactical advice summary. That's a mouthful. And I don't think I've ever shown you this. So our most recent game, at the moment our tactic is set 2-4-2-4 wide, which is this. But seeing as we're against Swindon, uh, we could bring these guys back and go back to a very basic 4-4-2. Again, we're turning into Mike Bassett. So we can do that. Uh, we can go to defensive, which I think is smart, considering it's Swindon, their League 2, and we're away from home. Same with going structured, getting stuck in the being one disciplines. More often than not, I will take notice of this. Sometimes I might go to counter rather than defensive or leave it flexible. But more often than not, I do tend to agree with what the guy says. Although our assistant manager, whenever we go for um, suggestions in the team talk during the match, they'll say, I don't have faith in my ability to suggest opposition instructions, which is good because that's what we've got him set to do. So we haven't got a very good assistant manager, I'm assuming. Let's actually have a look. What are his stats? Uh, seven man management, nine ability, seven potential. It's not awful. But we can do a lot better. So his contract runs out at the end of the season. I think after that we will look for a new number two. So the pre-match tactical briefing. Um, when I managed Liverpool. I don't know if this is because my um, support was very high. But they were always very positive with what I went to say. Let's see what happens here. So we're going to say 4-4-2. And there's no reaction. I'm going to say defensive because we're up against it. And they do agree with that. If they tend to agree with it, it will go green. So... That makes sense. And uh, yeah, apart from that, not a lot of reaction. If we go into our dynamics, the managerial support is at a good at the moment, which isn't too bad. The match cohesion is at average, which is okay considering it started off at the start of the save as abysmal. And the atmosphere in the dressing room is up to excellent at the moment. We've got one unhappy player, which is Muldoon, who wants a chance in the first team. We're in strong form, though. Swindon have been a bit inconsistent. And as far as injuries go, Sam York... Uh, he's got a broken hand. Um, this happened off screen. And he's out for a couple of months. But he is playing through it with a cast. So he is available. His condition is not terrible. But there you go. Jack Hartley's been injured for a while. Um, since that game against Darlington. He'll be back in a few days. Jack Jeb is cup tied. Because he's obviously already played in his competition for Welling. So there you go. Uh, as it's the FA Cup. We're going to put Rich Derling goal. No not Josh Hare. He's a defensive midfielder. Rich Derl. I'm going to go with Tomazi at right back. Cox has been pretty poor of a signing, really. Only a loan signing, but he's not been great. I'm going to stick with Akio, too. He did well last game out. Okay, then I'm going to go to Horst at right. I'm going to go Tommy Wright on the left. Yeah, Muldoon's playing. That's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with this. Our instructions at the moment are these. I'm going to put the early crosses on. I'm not going to try and work it in. Let's... I'm not going to be disciplined. I'm going to stick to positions, but I don't want to be like disciplined. Oh, we could have, oh, we could have picked seven subs for that game. I just realised and I just clicked Jess because I thought it was about something else. But we could have had seven subs. That's annoying. I forget. Like You've got five subs for the um, National League. But, um, yeah. We, um, we could have picked more subs, but never mind. We've got a free kick here early on. It's played out to Joe Piggott. And can he bring the ball in here? Um, he's not got a lot of support here. I mean, you've got seven shirts and he's lost possession. And now Noyle for Swindon on the attack. 
And uh, he does have a shot a bit. It's well wide, but there was no support at all there for Piggott, which is a bit annoying. And Al Swindon with a corner ball, and uh, it is cleared eventually by Alex Finney. Now Joe Piggott will go after this, but it's with Noyle. Now Preston. Noyle again. And now can we try and get the ball off from here? Here is Anderson. And Mullen with a header, and that's gone in. And three minutes in, we are 1-0 down. Keshi Anderson with an assist. That's a name I recognise. He's on loan from Palace. Is that where I must recognise him from Palace? I don't think he has ever played for Palace. But other than Lawrence Vigaru, this team is not the one that I managed. But nonetheless, we are 1-0 down. And it only took three minutes, which is a bit annoying. I mean, we're on defensive. Maybe we should try and go counter-attacking. But Mullen with a header into the goal. And we are 1-0 down. We're going to go counter-attacking. And let's just encourage the players. Come on, let's try and get some shots away. Let's try and create some chances and see if we can cause an upset here. In fact, let's turn the tempo up a bit. Let's go to high tempo. Let's close down a little bit more. And uh, you know, let's be a bit let's be a, let's be expressive. Why the hell not? Let's spend in a dominating possession at the moment, over sixty percent. We've just had our first shot. Hopefully we can have more than that. Um let's go for a more direct style. Let's try and pump the ball into the box and put the early crosses back. And try and create some chances here. Because I don't see us being able to get many. Although we've got the ball here. Joe Piggott to Loza. And there could be a counter attack on the cards here. But we've given it away. Here's Woolery. And now a shot away. And it is wide. But I feel like we, if we are going to try and cause an upset here. We really do need to take our chances. Because you know. With, with the little possession we're having. We really need to make it count. We're approaching half time. Since the goal. There's not been a lot happens. And uh, there is half time. Swindon do lead 1-0. We're not out of this by any means. I'm going to say there's nothing to lose. Because there absolutely isn't. Right, let's let's simplify this team talk a little bit. Let's just go uh, let, let, let's go wide and high. Close down more. Tighten mark in. Yeah, let's just do that. Start the second half. And let's see if we can, you know... Cause a bit of an upset, cause a bit of trouble for Swindon because it, it's entirely possible, but at the same time, it's not. It, well, it's not probable. It's possible, but it's not probable. There's a long ball, and will Lowe's will win this? No, he won't. Here is a uh, Hately for Swindon, and uh, here's Noyle to Dunn, and a long ball up towards Anderson. And uh, that is cleared away well by Tuamazi. Now, Joe Pigger. Now, he's got Lowe's ahead of him, but he's got. Got some midfielders behind him. That's not a bad ball. And Robertson deals with that. Now here's Woolery. And then Anderson. And Woolery with a shot. And that's 2-0. And we're, we're, for the second live coming in a row. We've conceded after less than a minute of the second half. And again it's Keshi Anderson with the assist. So, uh, this guy's causing us, causing us some trouble. Where's he playing? Where's Keshi Anderson? He's, 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 what, are they playing three three strikers? See, that's why they're winning. Three strikers is OP on this game. And now we've got uh, a foul committed. And Joe Reason's going to get a red card here. He's on, a, he's on a yellow. And here comes another yellow. Yeah, there we go. Joe Reason's off. So now we're down to 10 men. It's going from bad to worse, this. Going to drop Joe Piggott in to Cam. Um, we'll have him as, as a shadow striker. We'll leave Jamal Loza out there, though, up top. Uh, Akiota's on a 5.7. Of course he is. Let's go to standard. You know, a counter and offensive is inviting them onto us. We're not gonna, we're, we're, you know, we're not gonna win this now. Let's just try and make this respectable and not concede anymore. Two nils, fine. Against the league two side, I can't be too disappointed. Although I am gonna make a couple of subs because there are some bad performers out there. Akio to being one of them. So Winter's gonna come on to the left. Magna's gonna come on on from the bench, and uh, Zavon Hines is gonna come on. Halfway through this second half here, you know, let's try and come back into this. There is a chance. We've got made some changes, so hopefully we can stage a sort of comeback. Here is Joe Piggott, and he has a shot, and it's in. So there you go. It's 68 minutes. It's 2-1. This isn't over yet. Piggott's popping up with these important goals, and it's good. You know, the changes seem to have worked. Hines to Tuamazi, and the ball up to Joe Piggott, and Piggott with the finish. Keeper with a lackluster effort. Now, do we go attacking? We've got 20 minutes left. I'm going to go attacking. That was our first shot on target, and we have scored. But now Swindon have a free kick. Here is Keshi Anderson. He's already got two assists this game. Don't want him to get a third. Don't want him to score either. Matty Taylor. 
Robertson, now Anderson, and Wallowy. That's a good tackle, but Swindon still with possession here. Done to a player called Booty, of course. And here's Marlin, who's already scored one goal, and he's got a second. I think that will be game over now. Let's just go back to standard. And um, let's just go normal line. Yeah, we'll leave that as it is. 3-1. Um, I think it's game over now, but I feel like we've given a good account of ourselves. We've got a goal. I feel like that's good. Going to take off Muldoon. Going to bring on Reese Prestige. Just encourage them, you know, two more goals. Ten minutes left. It's doable, but not likely to happen. Just a few minutes left in the game. I mean, yeah, you know, this was always on the cards. This is going to be a difficult game to get anything from. Corner here, though. 19 minutes played. Joe Piggott, and it is saved. Uh, it's still in play. I think it might have come across the crossbar. But injury time being played here. Vigoru with a, a goal kick. And it's headed uh, by Anderson. And a long ball forward. And Jamal Loza will go after this. But Lancashire gets there first. And here is Noyle. And then Ganzi. And then ball forward. Here's Woolery. I mean, a fourth would be bad. Hopefully we won't do that, though. Hopefully we won't concede a fourth. And a ball forward. Not to anyone in particular. That was just clearance, I think. Headed forward by Winter. Here is Loza. I mean, there's there's no time to get two goals to go for a replay now, though. Here's Loza, and uh, he's through. Does he get a goal? No, um, it's a save. But we haven't been awful in this game. One or two players have, but more or less, I don't think it's been that bad. And that is a four-time whistle. Swindon three, Maidstone one. We tried. Okay, um, I just handed the individual team talks over to the assistant and he fucked up my team talk. So, yeah, my assistant's getting sacked in the end of the season. He might not even last till then, but who knows. But um, we are out of the FA Cup, but we got to the first round. That's what was expected of us by the board. So, I can't be too disappointed. We had a tough, we had a tough tie. Swindon in League 2. We're non-league. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm, I've got no issues with that. I do, however, have an issue with Reason getting sent off, so he's going to miss our next league match, which is against Torquay, who are 14th, so that's not good. Um, I was going to give him a warning, seeing as that was his first offence, but any more than that, then I'm going to start finding people. Uh, but that does see us out of the FA Cup, which means that we can just keep our focus on the Football League. We do still have the uh, FA Trophy that we're in. Uh, round 1's played... I think at the end of December yeah it's in the middle of December so you know we'll wait and see what happens with that I've never played in this competition so I've got no idea um, who's going to be in this but uh, uh, the plan for next episode is to just see how far I can play before I have to film uh, so this will be going out on Tuesday and then on Thursday we'll see how far we can get um, there's a lot of games to play uh, but I do want to do both games against Dover because they're rivals and it's the Boxing Day and New Year's Day games. So uh, we will be doing both of those. If we can get that far, um, I'll try and get to late in Orient. And then the one after that, we'll do both games against Dover. If not, uh, then we will do um, you know, whichever one we get to and then do Dover after that. So that's the plan. I'll try and get to late in Orient. But um, if not, we'll just play whoever we get to. But that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next episode where we're just going to play as far as we can. Um, I will try and get to Leighton Orient. Might not be able to. It depends how much time I actually get to play. Uh, but yeah, we'll just see how far we can get. So there's no plan really. Leighton Orient though, if we do get there, they're top. So... That's going to be a difficult game, although if we do get some wins on the rubber, we could find ourselves top by the time we get there. So hopefully we can get some good results off screen and make a play for promotion in the first season. That would be huge. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.